So here is the final look of the dress. I'm here to insert the buttons and the the ruffle didn't really get to the the other part of the pack because it was not enough but this came out beautiful and i'm going to be uh, remaking it with another fabric maybe torches because this was if you notice it very well you notice that i added different materials Hey guys welcome back to my channel so today we'll be doing the continuation of the video that I did the cotton the last time the uh, the water neck shirt dress so i said that um i was not having enough material so i got another one which ended up not being the same color and uh, texture but i'll just use it for the tutorial so i've gone ahead to cut the pack i said that for you to cut the pack the front and and the back is the same the only difference is that you have to remove your button stand yes i said that you're going to fold in your button stand so you remove the button stand then every other thing except the neckline is equal like the down part the side every other thing the length is equal and i i have to also shorten the length a bit because uh because um it will not really give me what i want in terms of length so i have to shorten the length a bit because i want it to come out shorter so so I went from 34 inches to, uh, I went from length of 34 inches to 32.5. So I'll place everything to make sure that everything aligns very well, that is equal and all that. So once it's equal, this is what I have. So I still have like some excess that I need to trim off. So I'll just place it and make sure that it aligns very well. Then I'll cut it. So this is what I have for this. So the next thing that is to cut a facing. So if you notice, I don't know if it's really showing. But if you notice, you notice that this this texture is even touches. Maybe it has been long. That's why it's giving this light texture. Then this one is dull face. It's somehow hard or thick. So the next thing is to get a facing. You're going to cut a facing. Yes, because we are not going to be attaching a sleeve to this, and we are not going to attach a collar. So you need a facing to cut it to turn the neckline and the armhole. So you're going to cut out a facing so let me use the back and show you how to cut out the facing so here is the back of the dress here's the back of the dress you're going to place it then place another fabric under let's say this is the face i've already cut it out so here is the facing now you're going to cut out exactly the same thing and you're going to make sure that it will exceed the, the length will exceed the armhole length so that it can stop maybe let's say let's say from this to your armhole point from here you're going to go down let's say up to 12 inches then up to 12 inches and you cut it exactly the same thing you have here so this is what i have just make sure that the uh, the lining and the the clothes and the this thing matches equally like they are the same thing so this is it so we'll have something like this so this is it and the length of my facing is 12 inches like i said so you need 12 inches so you're going to do the same thing for the front you're going to cut it but you're going to cut it two piece you're going to cut two piece because it's the front is um it's true so you'll cut one so the way you're going to attach it after cutting it the way you're going to attach it you're going to turn this that's the normal way you attach your lining or your facing the right side is facing each other then you're going to turn the neckline um top stitch on it then turn the armhole top stitch on it if you can but if you cannot you leave it like that and give it a good break then iron this place out make sure to sorry overload this place and iron it out so that's basically what you need to do here so this is it this is what i have i'll have to iron it so once you uh, you are done doing it you can pull it out you can pull it out so i'll do that i'll show you the next so for the down ruffles the thing is that this is what what i have left for this this is what i have left so we are going to be cutting a ruffle like you need to cut the ruffle so determine the length you want for the ruffle i'm going to be joining this because this will not really give me the length that i want so i'm going to measure it out i'm going to use four inches i want the length to be four inches after folding it i'll have uh, three inches so or you can make it five inches so let me make it 4.5 so i'm using a length of 4.5 the width now the the fullness and everything depends on how many years or um, the, the amount of fabric you have for this i'm just managing to get what i want so this is what i have i'll cut it and then cut it another pieces out so i'll place it again and cut and cut until i have the length that i want which this part will not really give me the length that i want but it's still okay you still need to um, you still need to cut and add something because we are going to be pleating on this.
So I'll place it this way. It's not slack. This point is longer. And I'll also cut it. So I have two pieces now, which I'll still be adding more. So after doing that, after joining it, you are going to hem the down part. After hemming the down part, then we are going to pleat on it. We are going to pleat just a little pleat. As you are pleating, you'll be holding it. You can pleat back and front or just pleat one side. You can just pleat it on it one side this way and be pleating on it. Just make sure you are holding it with your, your uh, sewing machine. So we are going to pleat this way. I mean, not really pleat, pleat it that much because of, um, because of um, there's no distance. I don't have enough fabric. So I'm just going to pleat it a little until I get the round desired length. So I'm going to join the facing and show you guys the next thing to do. And um, so you are not going to fold in for the front now. So when I was uh, when I was done turning it with the facing, I noticed that it was too tight on the armhole part. So I had to trim the armhole down, then cut the, then shorten the facing instead of turning it with the. Instead of turning the ampoule with the face, I'm going to use a bias, a bias to pipe it. So that is that was what I did. So this is it now. Instead of turning it, instead of turning the ampoule with the same facing, I'm going to shorten it just to leave it short. Just turn only the neckline. Or if you have enough fabric, why I'm managing this is because I don't have enough fabric. So um, from that point, I want the, my facing to be three inches long now. Or you can even make it shorter or longer. It depends on the kind of fabric you are working with. I will just advise you to use dotches for this. Like dotches will give you that look and it will come out uh, perfect instead of dolphins so this is it i've shortened the back lining um facing this is what i wanted so what i did for the armhole i i i told you guys that the armhole came out tight so from that the armhole from the down of the armhole i went down by two inches then trimmed it then connected it to the it's only the damper that you're going down by two inch uh, two inches then you just connect it slantly to uh to the shoulder part you don't have to remove two inches at the shoulder part also just half inch or just connect it that way so this uh this was the way i connected it uh for me to achieve that ample i think um this I think if you are cutting this please add enough allowance i didn't really add an allowance because of the because of the material was not enough i was just trying to manage one year when i was doing the cutting then so this is the front this is what you will have for the front iron it out i've also shortened the lining iron it out and there's that place that is um uh the the facing part that will get to the uh button stamp part you just hold it with a straight stitch so that it doesn't move when you're folding in the button stand but here i didn't really fold the button st uh, stand i used another this thing another fabric to create the button stand because if i fold it it will come out really tight on me so i cut out two inches or 1.5 inches uh, uh this thing fabric for for this button stand look at the way i'm going to place it now so this way i'll cut the fabric then i'm going to turn it the right side of the fabric is facing the wrong side of my fabric so once you are done sorry the right side is facing the right side the, the right side is facing the right side so you are going to attach from down to that till you get to the neckline so after attaching it, you are going to flip it and fold it and make sure you after folding you just have um, one inch so this is um so i'll just do it and show you guys the next thing to do how you're going to do it so this is what i have for the ruffle i added another fabric that is not dodges and is not dolphins i just used another um, red fab fabric that i have at home just to create a long ruffle and the uh, ruffle the length is 170 which was which ended up uh, not being enough so this is the way you are going to fold it after hemming the down part 
after folding the down part with half inch you are going to be pleating it towards you you are pleating it once as you are pleating it like as you are gathering it it's not gather pleat as you are pleating it you'll be holding it with your um straight stitch so this is how it's going to look once you are done so once you are done pleating on it you just give it a good press you are pleating towards you as you are pleating you are holding it you don't need to pleat it back and front you are just going to pleat it right away like facing you so this is it i will have done creating the button stand this is how it looks the only uh, the thing is it still looks like please just you don't need to do this type you just have if you have enough allowance just fold in your button stand you don't have to uh, use facing to turn those button stand i use facing because if i fold in that button stand it will come out really tight on me so that was why i used the button this facing for the button stand but if you have enough fabric if you have enough allowance please if you have enough allowance just fold in your button stand and you don't need to go through the stress of uh, looking for a facing to do it but if you feel like you want to do the the type that i did you can just use another another you can just use the same fabric to pipe it and that was what i did here so this is it so once you are done ironing out your facing is now to join the shoulder just use the uh, your back facing to turn out your shoulder so that it will come out neat so after uh, turning out your shoulder you are going to put the side join it and that is it so this is the ruffles i'm done join um pleating it and i've ironed it out this is how it's looking which was not really enough and still have to add uh another this thing but this is it so i've uh, piped out the the armhole and this is how it's looking i use bias so once you are done iron it out iron it very well this is the button who i've uh, um i've done it already and i've ironed it so this is it so this is what i have after joining the shoulder and piping the armhole after that just give it a good press just give it a good press so the next thing now is to check if there's any uh, excess that you need to trim off if there's if there is no excess you just have to join the button stand from the down you have to join it it will not be open you will not leave it open just the down part you can close it up to up to the you will not get maybe five inches before the neckline or you can just close it uh two inches then add your button create your button stand but i decided to close it up up um up to the neckline like i stopped at five inches before the neckline so i'm going to attach a fake button whenever i'm ready to attach it so the next thing is to start attaching the ruffle from one side of the side seam till you get to the end part and that is it for this tutorial i hope you enjoy it and if you have any question just drop a comment and i'll go through it just attach it give it a good press and you're good to go thank you